In this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how you can save the project and import and export images. So first, I downloaded an image from a site uh, that I will use to import it into Photoshop. So there is two ways to import images. So I can click File, Open, click the image that I want to import, and then just click Open. And another way is to just drag the file from the folder. So I can just drag it into Photoshop. Now, as you can see, when you import an image into Photoshop, it will be locked. So locked meaning you can't change it on, or move it or do some uh, basic transformations. And you will have to uh, double click and then convert it. Or if you saw this, when I moved it, it asked me to convert to normal layer, which is basically does the same thing and also it also moved it. So let's click Control Z. And let's just double click on the layer and click OK. And now we changed it. Uh, now we have made it actually editable. So now let's say that on this image we want to add some of the effects. So we can choose, uh, let's say brightness contrast. This is a simple edit. We maybe want to make it more contrasted, a bit darker. And let's minimize this. Uh, and let's say that we want to do a bit of editing on this image. So let's say we don't want it to say bakery school here. So if you remember, <clears throat> In the previous tutorial, we used a clone stamp tool to basically take a part of the image and then just uh, copy it to another part. So here, if you choose the right layer, here that's that is going to be a kind of useful. If we click uh, somewhere here, and then just you, actually we can try clicking here, so we can see the line uh, in our pr preview, and we can line up the line with the upper line. And by uh, if and if you hold, uh, forgot by the way, you can hold Alt and click to select from where you want to copy. So maybe I want it a bit more here. And now if you paste, we can basically try to hide this part. But as you can see, while you are moving it, it started coming up to that same word. And we have some problems if you, if you go down a bit, uh, we can see it copying uh, this bread part. So let's click Control Z. So in Photoshop, there is uh, another good way to uh, try to kind of hide this. And it's basically letting Photoshop estimate what should be behind this. Or uh, how what it will replace instead of these letters. So if you click on the clone brush and just start uh, painting over it and holding the click. So this needs to be all in one stroke and release it. It correctly estimated what should be here instead of the letters. Uh, so it's called Spot Healing Brush Tool, yeah. And we can do the same thing here. And this is pretty clever tool, but it needs to be used carefully because it won't work every time. If something is too complex or it doesn't know where to copy from, it might be hard, but for this, it works pretty well. So maybe let's say for this clock uh, behind here, it might not work as well because you we have some part in front. And if you copy it, it cut out the part and it didn't know what to do in the middle. So it's not perfect, but for s things like this, where it's a uh, black background and simple letters, it can do pretty good job. So now let's say that we want to save this as a project. So we did some edits and we want to save it. So we can click File, Save, or Save As. So if you click Save, now you need to be careful here. If you click Save, it will save it as the image here. If you remember, it will just replace this image. And maybe we don't want to replace the image, we just want to save the whole project as PSD. And maybe tomorrow we want to come in and have, have all these details and not just the image. So uh, how we can do that is click uh, File and then Save As, or Control, uh, Shift Control S. So if you click Shift Control S, it will open up this uh, this uh, view, and we can type, let's say, Street Bakery, and let's just click Save and maximize compatibility. And if we close this uh, window, go back to our folder, double click on that PSD. And we can see we are right back where we started. The only thing that changes is that we don't have this history. 
so history is not saved, so we can't go back on some edits that we made. And a good practice for that, if you want, if you're not sure about the edit and maybe you want to come back to it later, maybe you can duplicate and hide the layer. So uh, you saw me just pull it down and it duplicated that because I, I, were, I was holding Alt while I was pulling it. That basically means uh, drag and duplicate. And if you only drag it, it will just change places. So this kind of a useful tip where you can just hide the layer, original layer, and then make edits. And if you don't like something, just uh, come back to the original layer. But we'll delete it for now. So we just saw how we can save the whole project. Uh, now, uh, let's see how we can export this image. So we can also click Save As. And here, we can choose what format we want. So the most uh, used ones are JPEG. PNG and maybe a TIFF for target if you're uh, saving some textures. Uh, but the most compressed are usually JPEG, and, but it will also add the most artifacts. So PNG uh, saves with alpha, meaning basically if you have transparency and you have you and you want to save the layer that has uh, that uh, doesn't have the background, it, it's not uh, just an image and it has some transparent parts, you would use PNG. And if you just want the image, you'll choose JPEG. JPEG does not save alpha layer or alpha channel. So right now let's ch choose JPEG because we don't uh, need uh, alpha channel. And let's leave it at street bakery that JPEG. Let's click save. And here, since JPEG does some compression on the image, you can choose what quality you want. So let's say we don't really want uh, too big of quality. We just want uh, an image to be a bit lower quality. Let's click OK. Let's click on File and let's open up the file. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty decent. Uh, I don't see some big artifacts. Maybe if we zoom in, we can see some artifacts. But from far, it looks pretty good. And that's basically how you import and uh, export images, or at least one way. The next way would be clicking File and Export. And you have here some options uh for exporting as web or exporting uh, quick png or something like that so we can click export as and we can click uh, export all uh if you're satisfied with all the edits but here we can choose some uh, like more customizations like transparency or the width some scales gives us pretty good uh, control over our final image. And we can just click export all and then export it again. 